What's up, real world? Twisted luck. Hope everybody's good. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it, everybody. So I'm gonna. Um, I just finally looked at some of these samples of dust, magnetic pollen, whatever you want to call it, under a microscope. Now, so I'm gonna show it to you. Now I'm going to warn you. I should have been better prepared. I don't have a microscope. I'm gonna have to get one. Uh, so I had to go actually to my sister's house. My sister had the microscope, so went over there to try to use it. And I should have come better prepared. I wasn't exactly sure if I would be able to get it on video because it's just a simple standard microscope. It doesn't come up on a screen or anything. So I was gonna have to try to fit the, the lens of the camera to the eyepiece. And uh, I wasn't exactly sure if it would even work or how it would work it out. So I didn't come exactly prepared. So we're gonna do it again. I should have brought a tripod. You would think somebody that makes videos all the time would at least think to bring a tripod. No, I did not to bring a tripod. I was thinking samples and everything I would need for the samples, and I didn't even think of that. And after seeing what I saw, uh, tripod, tripod would have been better. But I do want, I've been sharing everything with you as I find it, as I see it. So I'm not gonna hold back on you just because uh, I wanna do it better. I'll let you see what I saw. Um, it's interesting. Now, again, like I said, I'm not a scientist. I'm a backyard scientist, right? Um, so I don't know what I'm looking at and going into this I even said before I don't know what I'm looking for um, I'm just looking for I just want to see what it looks like uh, is anything moving and I don't even know what that would mean um, but uh, some people will have some ideas and I can compare samples of some other things um, online with what I'm seeing and things like that so I'm not done with this yet so in just a minute I'm gonna show you that what I have so far I did see at one point at least one time there was something in there dancing around I did see some things in there you can tell that it's a couple different substances in there you I, I can kind of surmise what might be the pollen in there and you'll probably get that idea too um, but some of the things in there seem to have a, a standard and defined shape um, one little thing was dancing around in there and uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're looking at. You can share your thoughts and, um, you know, give your guesses and whatever. Or if you're familiar with anything, feel free by all means, because that's what we do. We share minds. We put minds together and that's how we share real information and come up with, you know, theories and, and such. Now, before I get to that real quick, I just wanted to show you, we've had weird skies. A lot of people are mentioning on Twitter too, in comments of videos here on YouTube. Uh, people are emailing me pictures and videos of the skies and the strange skies and the grid patterns being made daily lately um, and we see a lot of that here too but yesterday I saw a really weird thing in the sky um, so I don't know what this is I don't it, it was very unique looking what it reminded me of is some of these launches that we've had here in Florida the SpaceX launches when it goes up it'll make something that kind of looks like that uh, there was no launch this was yesterday I believe yesterday I took that video or that pick these pictures um, there was no launch nothing like that uh, there were other clouds in the sky it looked obviously nothing like this there were some lines being made in the sky unfortunately I couldn't take video of this because it had horrible timing I'm having a some of you are familiar I'm dealing with a saga with a vehicle warranty and a dealership and all that. I had been waiting for a call. They finally called me. I'm on the phone outside when I see this thing. And uh, while I'm on the phone, I can't take video pictures only. So that's what I had to get. I can't believe I almost forgot to mention this. Um, when I took pictures of that thing because I couldn't take video because I was on the phone and I'm actually just now making this connection that it was the same time as I just thought of this. Uh, I was on the phone with the warranty company and um, a plane what sounded like a plane was flying by right but it got real real loud and I'm looking for it as I'm on the phone and it ended up getting so loud I couldn't hear on the phone and the lady couldn't hear me but it was either so high that I couldn't see it or something I have no idea I right away pulled up flight radar there was nothing going over me on radar so I have no idea what that was but that was a weird thing and that was just a couple minutes before I found that weird thing in the sky so just a little extra thing I thought it was very weird 
extremely loud so you would think it's flying right over there was nothing to be seen not even a speck that it was super super far away so another weird thing for you so i thought that was weird and i'd share it with you i don't know what it is um if anybody's seen something similar or whatever feel free to chime in uh but i don't know the skies have definitely been more and more strange by the day lately by the day and more and more people are noticing these things more and more people are seeing unidentifiable things in the sky we're seeing all this dust or whatever this is um we're seeing magnetism come out of the sky and uh we're seeing crazy things like whatever that was so i'm going to keep this a short video my main point is just to share with you so far what i've seen in the microscope bear with me i'm this is the literally you're looking at my very first time doing that so it might get frustrating it's not still at all the times moving around some of the times you'll see i'm actually moving the slide so it's not me moving i'm moving the slide to get a different perspective so uh short story long i'm good at that so i'm gonna shut up now check it out see what you think and again we'll get better video of this in the near future check it out all right let's have a look like I said, you're going to have to bear with me. Some of it will get better and more still. These are my first attempts, but it does give us a peek into what's in there. I'm trying to line up a camera lens with the lens of this microscope. That's a fraction of the size of the lens, but it's going to give us some peaks. Some of you may want to pause or look around, screenshot, zoom in. But I'll move the slide around as we do this for a couple of minutes, have some different looks at different things. Like I said, I'm not a scientist. I'm a scienter. It's not an art. I do this as I go. And I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm looking at. Just want to see what it looks like. And if some of this is frustrating to look at, imagine how frustrating it was to try to do this and record it. But I figure it's better than nothing. And like I said, we will get some better views. We'll see something moving around a little bit here in just a minute. I don't remember where it is, but We'll get to it here pretty quickly, I think. No idea what it could have been, even. I don't even know what it could have been. I make no claims. I think it might be in this clip here. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe it's not. Unless I already passed it and I forgot. Maybe I talked over it. You can let me know in the comments if I talked over it. Unless it pops up here in a second. Then we'll know. But at some point, there was this little thing dancing around, swimming around in there. Like I said, that greenish stuff, that could be pollen that's within the sample. And also, this is the sample number two that I collected. So this was the second sample collected from the same place as the first one. It's looking a little bit better here. As for the camera work, anyway. As good as it can get, I guess. But I'm sure some of you watching it may have some idea there's people out there that have experience with microscopes and stuff and you'll have some ideas what you're looking at i am not one of those people last time i looked through a microscope i was not an adult but i do want to get one because i'd like to be able to mess with this more and like i said the next time we do this it's going to be with a tripod and i believe i figured out a way to get some decent video now i'm pretty confident now that i did talk over the part with the little thing dancing around or swimming around in there almost certain i did but that's all right i'm sure you saw it i should have been paying closer attention i know better i know better and now i've gone back and confirmed it as you saw it was at about the 719 mark and i'm gonna slide the slide around a little bit here and just have random looks around again i don't know what i'm looking at but i'm just doing everything that i can do with my capabilities and my knowledge not that the magnet isn't telling enough i mean it doesn't identify what it is but it lets us know that it's not good and believe me i i cut out a lot of uh i chopped this up quite a bit and i gave you i'm showing you the non the less frustrating parts to look at it was very difficult because i'm moving this slide around and holding the camera at the same time again because i didn't think to bring a tripod but next time i will um but we have some still shots here, some more still shots. 
a little more still anyway. As soon as I say still, of course, it starts shaking around. I think I'm moving the slide. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm moving the slide just to have different views all around this sample. So if any of you, you know, anything looks familiar, feel free to chime in in the comments and let me know what you think. So that's that. That's what I have so far. It was honestly, it was really frustrating for me uh, trying to get video in there. Oh, it was like so frustrating. I can't even describe it um, because it was uh, uh, it's just so hard. You got a zoom camera and you're trying to line that thing up perfect, trying to figure out well, which way do I need to go? This way, that way, this way, which way? I want to like chuck the phone across the damn room. Um, but I didn't chuck the phone across the damn room. But uh, that's why. And I was frustrated myself that I did not think to bring a tripod then my nephew walks over right kid walks up and he's like let me try it on my phone he holds it above and he's got a perfect view in there i'm like how are you doing this that's when i realized aha if i had a tripod we could do this perfectly perfectly but we will do that in the very near future because uh i want to know testing still you know we've not dropped it still working on that still gonna try to see what we can see and find what we can find at some point this will be tested one way or the other is going to be tested. So thanks for being here. Share your thoughts. I appreciate you. Twisted Luck Truth. I'll see you soon.